a user called Wyoki said of yours truly after watching one of my vidies quote dude you're basically a globalist now I realize on the internet in certain circles globalist is a thoroughly dirty word and to identify as an isolationist is the height of fashion and yes I'm aware that I'm under no obligation to go on the defensive because of one shall we say throwaway comment but I thought I'd use this opportunity to basically and clearly lay out my positions okay whatever our political beliefs may be I think all of us who've been paying attention everyone who's in possession of the truth will recognize that globalization is a fact international integration and interdependence of economies is surely as plain as the nose on my face right now globalism there's more than one form of globalism but globalism would relate to ideas and beliefs surrounding or relating to globalization so please allow me to tell you the ways in which I'm not a globalist I'm not a globalist in the sense of believing that worldwide jihad against the non-believers is a good thing I'm not a religious fanatic nor am I a neoliberal or neoconservative who thinks that the current destructive path that the world is on is a good thing. I'm not a supporter of the corporate rape of cultures and the environment. I'm not a globalist in the sense of supporting, advocating US imperialism and global US hegemony nor do I want any other hyperpower to come along and have the power to be an aggressive economic and military powerhouse of the world acting as the global bully as the United States does today I am a believer that nations and their governments should be held to account as should multinational companies which leads me to say the following I am a globalist in the sense that I think as we recognize our interdependence and our essential similarities as human beings we should unite to form a worldwide democratic union dedicated to peace freedom civil and political rights, egalitarianism, environmentalism and doing away with poverty once and for all. I am a globalist in that I recognize that many problems are global in scope and require a united global effort to deal with or manage them. I would say that isolationism coupled with xenophobia and a rigid conservative or unbending protectionist philosophy or attitude is ultimately self-defeating in the modern world you can't hide from the world forever isolationism can turn to crazy there are examples see Albania under communism the communist rule or go watch a North Korea documentary yeah. not all globalisms are the same and thus not all globalists are allies or friends indeed they can be bitter enemies my world view is not going to be the same as a four-star general sitting in the Pentagon nor is it going to be the same as a Salafi jihadist so yeah, if you're interested in a more fleshed out idea of my worldview, there's a link in the description to my 
manifesto on Kindle Amazon. Free read if you have Kindle Unlimited. Yeah, so please check it out, folks. On that note, I'll bid you all a good day, and I'll see you next time.